Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the Brute Fooner 80 set of oily pencils. And the reason that I wanted to take a look at these is because a couple months ago I reviewed the Brute Fooner Macaron pencils, their pastel set that looks like a lot like Holbein pencils. I actually have some right over here uh, that I pulled out of my, my, um, my box to show you. These were a lovely pencil set. I recommended them. Um, I actually, I'll show you how I keep them. I keep them upstairs on my uh, kind of fun art desk with my Prismacolor pencils because they blend really well together. They feel a lot like Prismacolor. They look a lot like Holbein. The colors match Holbein by number and by name. And uh, they're just a nice budget alternative to Holbein pencils and Prismacolor if you want a really light set of colors. So after the review, I had a lot of comments of people saying, because these were available only on AliExpress, which I think they are currently only available on AliExpress, or you can find them a little bit more expensive on like Etsy or eBay, but if you wanted to get them for the best price, AliExpress. I'm pretty sure the people on Etsy and eBay are ordering them from AliExpress and then reselling them. Um, but I kept getting comments where people said, I found the pastel set on Amazon and there's 80 colors, so it's even a better value. And um, I wasn't sure these were the same. They didn't look the same in the photos, like the, the pictures of the pencils themselves. And so I reached out to Anstel Stationery that sent me the 50 set of Macaron. They're the ones that sell those pencils, the Brute Funner pencils on AliExpress. And I asked them, since they sell both kinds, if they're the same or not, because people were asking. And they said, they're really not the same, but I'll send you a set so you can compare them and um, you can see for yourself if you think they're similar or what. And that's what we're going to do today. And we'll also compare these with the Brute Funner 520 pencils. Like, so if you bought that big pack of 520 color pencils that came out about a year, well, not even a year ago, I don't think. Um, you can kind of see how they fall in line with those, as well as my favorite budget pick, which is the Brute Fooner Square pencils. So uh, we're going to compare all of those. That way, if you have some of these, you'll kind of know how they stack up. And like I say, always, the best products that you can use for art are the ones you already have. So if you've got something that's serving you well, use what you have. And um, that's my best advice because products change. And by the way, I also wanna mention that I'm reviewing this on uh, February 21st. I received these in January, just to kind of give you an idea of when these came out. That way, um, you know, if it's a year in the future, things change sometimes. So I just wanna preface all my reviews with that now, especially if I'm reviewing a budget pencil. So they come in this plastic case with a cardboard sleeve. The case is adequate. Um, really nothing to write home about. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed with the Brute Fooner products. They don't tend to go too crazy with the packaging. Um, it's pretty bare bones, but the products seem to be pretty good. Uh, and looking at these, and these, like if you search pastel Brute Fooner pencils, this is what came up on Amazon. Um, and they were calling them a pastel and neon set for a while. I, I don't know what they're calling them now, but to me, I don't see much pastel about this. I guess like some of these blues look kind of pastel. These are certainly very vibrant. And when I'm looking at this color range, what I think is like Caribbean or tropical. If you remember when you were a child, if you ever had Crayola markers, there'd be the classic colors, which are like your basic primary colors and secondary colors and tertiary colors. Um, and then there was the tropical colors, which were more kind of pastel-y and uh, neon-y and stuff. And that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a tropical arrangement of colors. And these are just a basic, basic plastic trays. The thing I like about these though is just the shipping factor is that they they snap in. They're not going to roll around or get jostled too much when you order these, which is important if you're going to be ordering them from a far away land and they could take quite a few transfers before they get to your home. So I do think that that these are packaged well and they won't get damaged. The same as with macaroon, macaron pencils. The packaging is nothing to write home about, but it is going to keep them stable in transit, which I think is um, really the most important thing. But if you want to buy something that's got packaging, like this is reusable, but you know, it's just, it's just not like that fancy or anything. So this is what they look like swatched out. This is them swatched, I'm gonna put it this way so it fills the screen better. This is the color swatched out on the um, on the white drawing paper. This is them swatched out on black. Um, they're okay, but they're not super vibrant on the black. They are very vibrant on the on the white. And what you'll see here is a lot of um, is a lot of neons. So you've got some just kind of I don't want to call them muted. They're not really muted. They're just kind of like not super bright, kind of like mid mid between pastel and regular colors here. 
you've got about, I would say 14 to 16 actual neon colors. You've got um, lots of blues, so it kind of does remind me of like the Caribbean with the, with the blues um, and teals. Not a lot of earthy greens, not a lot of earthy colors at all, except for these muted grays and taupes here. You've got some, a lot of beiges, so if that's a color you run out of a lot, then that might be useful. Just, but a lot of samey colors. So um, I've got another swatch here that I just don't, uh, I'll be do, using for another review for another product, but um, like if you look, uh, if you look through here, you're going to see that these purples all are very similar. These pinks are very similar. These blues are very similar. There's not a big assortment of colors. When you really get down to it, there's a lot of colors that are repeated. So this color assortment, I think unless you know you use that particular color and a lot of it, it really doesn't make that much sense to me. But um, if you have like a set of 48 assorted colors and they've got your basic, you know, primaries, your basic secondaries, your basic earth tones, this could definitely flesh out those colors a bit. But to me, the color balance is just really bizarre with this set. Um, so let's compare it with Macron colors because that's what a lot of people were looking for when they were finding these on Amazon. Um, and I've got to be completely honest, I've never ordered from AliExpress. The Anstel Stationery Shop reached out to me a few times to send products. They never required um, a review or required me to be like favorable about their products. And the first review actually wasn't that favorable. And they, I mean, they just want an honest review, which I can, uh, I can appreciate. Otherwise I wouldn't except the product, obviously. Uh, so this is what the Brute Food and Macaron colors look like. They're very, um, they're much more opaque. You can see how they stand out on the black a lot more. Of course, fluorescents are gonna be very transparent anyway, so it's just the nature of that type of color. Um, I feel like it's pretty well balanced. It's got pastels and then a little bit darker than pastels and a little bit muted neutrals. I think it's a really nice balanced color. Now, to be fair, they totally uh, stole the color palette from the Holbein pastel set. So, you know, that's another ball of worms. That's another, um, that's another issue. I think as I, if I do use any of these colors up, I think I'll probably just open stock by Holbein, um, you know, just to kind of throw some love at a more tried and true brand. But I have no qualms with this. I have no qualms with this assortment at all. And the Holbein colors are more pigmented. I do have a couple and it did com compare them with the, uh, I've got actually my compare swatch here from those, where I compared Holbein's, uh, the Holbein's are more pigmented. So the Holbein versus Brute Funer, the colors are a little bit different and the Holbein's are much more pigmented on black. So, you know, it is, you are definitely getting what you pay for. Well, I mean, they are like five times the price, so I don't know, it's up to you. It's it's your money, your choice. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you the difference between the Brute Funer Macaron colors and the Brute Funer 80 quote unquote pastel colors because these really aren't pastel. Um, and when you do get in fluorescent colors, they're handy if you want to boost the vibrancy of a color, like overlay them, but they're very fugitive. That color's not gonna last. So it's just something to consider. You know, these are definitely gonna be colors that fade. You can just tell by the by the look of them neon colors, even in the most expensive line of pencils, are not going to be uh, light fast. It's just, it's just the way it is. It's just the way those colors are made up. Um, so there's a comparison. I just wanted to put this out there because I know a lot of people were considering buying the 80 set uh, because you can get it on Amazon versus the Macron set because you could only get it at AliExpress at that time. Um, but like I said, you can find them on Etsy now too if you're, if you're um, concerned about shopping on AliExpress. These were both provided by Anstel Stationery Shop to me for free. So um, I'm just putting out there. I have no affiliate uh, connection with Etsy or AliExpress. So it, I do not benefit if you choose to purchase these financially. I'm just getting the information out there. Now I did do a uh, little blending test here between the um, the different Brute Funer ranges. So here is the Brute Funer Macaron. I got a really nice smooth blend. I just chose pink and green because I had a little bit of those colors in every selection. I thought they would be the easiest to match. Um, Brute Funer 80, I got a similar, um, a similar tone. Not as many light shades in the Brute Funer 80 as the Brute Funer Macaron, but it, they they were all right. I find them to be a little bit streakier, but I think that's just because they're more neon. There's more neon colors in the 80 set, and it to get that darker color, it was it's just more transparent color and just goes a little streakier. I would say, you know, if you have the macarons, I don't think I'd say I don't I don't know. You know what you need for color palette, but uh, 
I'll just leave it at that, I guess. So Brute Fruiter 520. I thought they were going to be, they did feel pretty similar to the 80s. The Brute Fruiter macarons were creamier and softer, probably because they had more white added. Um, I think the softest ones, though, are the Brute Fruiter squares. And I just wanted to swatch those up just to see. But honestly, the other ones blended just as well as the Brute Fruiter squares, even though they're my favorite of the Brute Fruiter range. I think you're going to get, you could get similar results with the others, although these are a little bit softy, softer and generally blend a little bit better. So just to show you what they look like, this is the Brute Fruiters from the 520 set. Um, this is, oops, I did I take these all away? Take them all away. These are the Brute Fruiters from the 80 set, which actually look like they're meant to look like Prismacolors because you see how they have that uh, the color in a little silver bubble. I'm sorry. Let me let me zoom out a little bit. I feel like it's having a hard time focusing. And I'll just grab a Prismacolor just to show you here. Oh, no. Prismacolor changers, actually. They used to be in this. Oh, you know what? No, this is a really old Prismacolor. That's why. Let me find a newer one if I can here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Prismacolor now does a silver bubble where it puts its color in it, and I, Brute Fruiter's doing that there too. I don't know if it's trying to look like Prismacolor, but that's what it reminded me of when I saw it. Uh, but anyway, they don't feel, these don't feel as much like Prismacolors as their macaron colors do. But just to show you what they look like in uh, comparison to one another. So obviously you've got the square. I'm just, you know what, maybe if I put... Let me get to a fresh sheet of black paper. That might be the best way to compare here. Okay, let's go to a fresh sheet of black paper and let's zoom in here. All right, so this is the square. Non-roll, blends really well. That's my recommendation out of the Brute Fruiter products. Then we've got, or my top recommendation, then we've got the Brute Fruiter from the 80 set. Looks quite a bit like Prismacolor. It's got a primed underneath. Um, lead wise, I'd say the lead is smaller. The lead is skinnier than what's in the five, the ones from the 520, and it's skinnier than what's in the square. So the 80 set does appear to be maybe a little bit, um, you know, cheaper, cheap, more cheaply made, where it has a smaller lead. Then we've got the, and they also felt, I'd say they're the same size, but they felt a little skinnier, honestly, in the uh, in my sharpener. But it's probably just comparatively because I've been using Durant products a lot, and they're a lot chunkier. Um, then we've got the Brute Fruiter from the 520 set. The lid is a little bit bigger, like I said, than the one in the 80 set. Um, this one's very bare bones, just a very small silver name and number, barely legible, and it says Brute Fruiter on the end. And then we've got the Brute Fruiter Macaron that definitely is uh, has the Holbein uh, look to it. It's got the capped end, which is a little bit more pricey looking. It's got the um, gold band. It's got the color name and number that matches the Holbein colors. And um, let's see, is it is it thicker? I don't think it's any thicker. Nah, it doesn't seem any thicker to me, but uh, maybe I can't tell if the lid is thicker or not. Um, but I do like those. In, in order of how I like them, I would say I like the squares the best. I like the macarons next. I like the ones in the 520 set next, and then after that would be the 80. But there's not a huge difference. There's not like worlds of difference between these products. Um, I'd say if you already had the 520, I'd probably just use those because you're gonna have all the colors. They may be a little bit, um, they're a little bit weaker pigmented than say the squares, but they're not that different from each other. You definitely don't need to be collecting all of them. These were all sent to me for free for review, so. Um, so I certainly didn't go and spend money on them. I just want to make that absolutely clear. Well, I just wanted to go out basically and show you the difference in the color palettes between the uh, 80 set of quote unquote pastel colors, because I know a lot of people are interested in them, and the macaron colors. Because I wanted opacity, opacity on dark paper, the macaron colors would definitely be more useful to me. And I'm using them with my Prismacolor, my smaller set of Prismacolors upstairs on my fun art desk. Um, so they are actually getting used by me, even though they're not used in videos because I don't film up there, but um, there's just a comparison for you. Maybe this is better for you. Maybe you're feeling like you have no really vibrant, bright tropicals and neons, and that would be really useful to you, then there you go. Uh, maybe you want to have some lighter colors because they're really useful for blending out darker colors, which is what I like to use these for, and for like, uh, I like to work on toned paper, like craft, gray, stuff like that. These are really good for that. These would not be as good for that, but 
there you have it. I just want to put it out there so you have an idea about what is available and what might be best for you. I will also be reviewing the Marco Pastel colored pencils, the square pastel colored pencils in an upcoming video, but I haven't used them enough yet to do that. So I think these are fine. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to obtain them, but they're, you know, they're kind of average. They're kind of your run of the mill basic colored pencils in a tropical flavor palette, I guess. There you have it. I hope you found that useful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll help you if, help you if I can. And until next time, happy crafting.